So y'all know I love Megan Trainor and I've been listening to her for a while. So when I say this, I only mean this in the most constructive way. What makes this heart be faster? Hey honeys, it's your boy Jeremiah back again with another video. And in today's video, I'll be reacting to Megan Trainor's new song, Make You Dance. Now, it's been a while since I reacted to Miss Trainor. My last reaction was to her album, Treat Myself, which I will link in the card above if you want to check that out. And I absolutely enjoyed that release. I think it was a great release. This is coming straight after Treat Myself. So this is, I guess, her upcoming single to her debut album, which is, to be quite honest, kind of dissatisfying because Treat Myself, I personally feel didn't really get enough promo. I feel like a bulk majority of the promo came before the album, but after the album, I didn't hear anything else of Treat Myself. I didn't hear a lot of performances of Treat Myself. I didn't see a lot of performances of Treat Myself. So I'm kind of disappointed in that, and I'm willing to move past that if this is sort of a debut single for a next album, or maybe a Treat Myself Deluxe album, and hopefully then they'll continue, I guess, to Treat Myself push after COVID and all this mess is over. I'm not too sure what the deal is with this song, but I'm super excited to get into it. But before we get into it, make sure you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell icon for notifications when I post. I post every week, not every two weeks, not every three weeks, every seven days or less, honey. That was a good one. So y'all know I love Megan Trainor and I've been listening to her for a while. So when I say this, I only mean this in the most constructive way. The song, I think the song is a great song, nonetheless. It really plays into those trends that I've mentioned in multiple of my videos. You know, those really nostalgic, sort of retro disco pop sounds. Very, very apparent in music today. Katy Perry just released a song about it. Lady Gaga released the album. Dua Lipa released the whole album with those sounds. The trend is huge. The trend is, is discovered already. 
We've seen that. This, to me, I feel like it plays up on the trend in a nice way. It, it's a sound that I've never heard before when it comes to that trend. I've never heard anything currently in the market, previously in the market, that sounds like this. But I don't know if this is a single or I don't know if this is just a release for the fans. If this is a single, I'm not convinced as a single. Because when it comes to me as a single, it needs to really make you dance or it needs to make you cry for me personally. You know, when it comes to performances, you need to be swept away from your feet or you need to be up on your feet. And the song is vibey. The song makes you do a little, a little jig, a little something something. But I don't think it really makes you dance like she was expecting it to. Like, if I compare it to the songs of hers that really make me want to dance, especially even in the last album, Nice to Meet You makes me want to dance. Genetics make me really rather dance. No excuses make me really want to dance. Comparing it to those songs, this one to me isn't really that want to make you dance type of song, to be quite honest. It's a great song. It's a pretty vibey song. But it doesn't really make me want to dance like that. If this is a single, I'm concerned about the push and how they'll actually push this. If this is a debut single, I'm not too sure it'll work, but I'm super excited to see how they'll push it. If this is sort of like an interlude to the Treat Myself Part 2 Deluxe album or something, then I think that this is a good sort of like, you know, hype up track to see what is actually going to come in the Part 2 Deluxe version. Hopefully we get maybe four or five songs. If that happens, I'm not too sure. But I'm super excited to see what's going on with that. Overall, I would still give this track an 8 out of 10, definitely. It, it, You know, it's a vibey song. It's a great song. I think it plays into the trends very well. It does a very good job of production, with vocals, with everything, really. It's just the overall vibe to me doesn't match what the song is saying. And then in reference to the other songs that she's released, I'm not totally convinced that it's one of those more get on your feet and dance kind of songs. But that is all for this video, guys. Make sure you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon for notification when I post. I post every week, not every two weeks, not every three weeks, every seven days or less, honey. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, honeys.